Good day, my name is Cara and I am from Hedgeton, Africa and today I am going to show you how to do a cutwork design. Um, what you will need is your embroidery hoop, some water soluble stabilizer, we prefer to use the violin kind and not the plastic one, um, a lot of people call it wash away or aqua magic, and then your fabric, What's very important is a very good embroidery scissor. This is called what we call a double bend because of the double bend. Um, I'll explain later why. And then of course embroidery thread. Okay, so now we are going to hoop our design. We are going to take our two layers of water soluble stabilizer and place it over the hoop. And then we are going to put our fabric and put our hoop on top. If you would like, you can also just hoop the stabilizer and lay the fabric on top, but this way with the cutwork you have a better stab stabilization of the fabric because you are going to be cutting out sections of the design. Once you have done that, you can then take your hoop and put it on your machine. So now we are going to embroider our design. Every designer's cutwork varies. Our cutwork, you actually do not just cut out the bars, you cut out the whole section. So our first color is the section. It will stitch the section that we are going to cut out. So our first step has completed. You will see our cutwork around the edge that you are going to cut out has a zigzag stitch. That zigzag stitch is what we call a safety stitch. This allows you that when you are cutting to cut as close to possible of that stitching but you are not damaging the underlying stitch which is holding the fabric in place. Um, you, so once again you'll see we cut out this whole section and not the crossbars in between. When we cut, we are only going to cut the fabric. We are not going to cut through the stabilizer. The reason being is that the crossbar that is going to form needs some sort of background to form on and that is why we only cut away the fabric. So let's start cutting the fabric. So this is why we need a very good scissor to cut with a sharp point so that when we start cutting we put the scissor into the fabric and we can start cutting. If you find that you are struggling you can also use a quick pick just to make or a seam ripper just to make the start. Remember that we are only cutting the fabric. If I turn my frame around you will see my scissor is not coming to the back it's only cutting through the fabric. When we cut we always cut on a flat surface we do not cut on our laps or in the air because this causes us to move the fabric and then can cause the design to go off registration. So as you can see I am cutting very close to that stitching The closer you cut the better because the less pokies you are going to have And we start cutting. Like I said you can go close to that stitching because you don't want any pokies of the fabric sticking out. While you are cutting it is easier to turn the frame than to try and turn your scissor. Okay. 
you will see I have in this one I have nicked the stabilizer a little bit but that is not a problem because I still have my second layer underneath and whilst we are cutting this out we can cut the jump stitches in between what is nice about this kind of scissor it allows you to come close it's easy to handle and the point is actually very sharp if you do not have one this is a very good investment we have now cut out all our sections so now we are going to put the hoop back on the machine and complete the embroidery when you buy cutwork designs in the color chart you will get images that will mark the sections that you have to cut out. It will actually show you on the diagram and now you can see it is coming to make the satin stitch which is going to hold our fabric in place. When it does the next one you will see it is forming the crossbar on the water soluble stabilizer. That is why we keep the stabilizer in place so that the crossbar has something to form on. You can, if you would like, lower your top tension one notch, which will also help the crossbar to form nicely. If you are not sure how to lower the tension of your machine, please consult your manual or ask the person who you bought your embroidery machine from, as they will also be able to tell you how. Our design is now complete and as you can see the crossbars have formed and it looks quite pretty. We can now take it out of the hoop. Once our design is complete we can now put it in the water to rinse out the water soluble stabilizer. To do that we are first going to cut off as much of the excess stabilizer at the back of the design. Be careful not, when you are doing this, to not cut the fabric in the front. When placing your design in the water, we always use lukewarm water, not hot water, as it can cause your fabric and your thread to shrink, and it can also cause color to run if you are not using a good quality thread. So we place it in the water, and we generally leave ours to soak if we would like it to be nice and soft, we soak it overnight. If you would like a nice solid design that is not too soft, you can take it out immediately. I'm just going to take mine out so that you can see the stabilizer has disappeared. And we now have very nice crossbars and we have our cutwork. We are going to let it dry and show you later what it looks like. 